Okay then, so thank you for making it all the way to the third task, the synthesis task. All right, so let's take a look at this and think about where we can find the answers. All right, first thing I can see is that it's split into three paragraphs. One, two, and three. So this is going to probably be chronological. We can guess that. Okay, 20th century, we see here, that's the latest one. 1800s, 1600s. So this is split into three paragraphs based on time. So let's look at this first one. Both Norway and Sweden, what does that tell you? Um, we might need to look at both texts to find the answers here. And um, I can confirm this, look. Okay, okay. Norwegian, Sweden. All right, so we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the Norway text first, then we're gonna go to the Sweden text. Let's see if this pattern continues. Okay, yeah, look, Norway. Meanwhile, Sweden. Okay, so this is like a tennis match. Norway, Sweden, Norway, Sweden. What do we see? Does it continue? Norway, da 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 da. Yep, and then, oh look, Sweden. All right, so yeah, classic sort of tennis match. Number one, Norway, number two, Sweden. Norway, Sweden, Norway, Sweden. So we're gonna have to switch between the two texts to find the answers here. All right, so what do we need to what do we need to know for number one? Okay. All right. This crease in wood export meant that the something increased to four times its previous side in this period. In this period, the 1600s sometimes. So I like to make a question out of this. All right. So here's my question. What increased to four times its previous size in the 1600s? Let's go down and have a look. Ah. Quadruple. Now that's a bit of a tricky word. Quad, of course, we know means four. Quadrupled to become four times bigger. So your answer for number one is the merchant navy. Okay, in this period, the 1600s. Okay, number two. Sweden now. Sweden was involved in the export of what to England? Okay, so what? And let's go down to the Sweden text. Okay, ah. Okay, iron exports continued. Sweden became the leading iron supplier. Okay, so we have that 1600s time marker again. Okay, so that's our answer for number two. Questions three and four, let's have a look. Okay. Norway had to import a lot of food items from other countries, 1800s, remember, and this was reflected in Norway's something. So, Norway's importing of food was reflected in what? Okay, that's a question. And then for number four, Sweden's huge northern forest meant the country was able to meet high demand. There was a consequent expansion in what for Sweden around this time. Let's remember that time marker. So number three, ah, imports a liberal trade policy. Okay. So that's the answer for number three. Then down for the next text. Number four. Forest product exports. Okay, we have that time marker, remember, 1850. Okay, so that's three and four. Let's have a look at five and six. Now, remember, we've moved on to the modern period, the 20th century. Okay. Trade with Europe remains important to Norway. The country has twice rejected joining the European Union in something. Okay, now it's not the year, because, but we've got year markers here, 1972 and 1994. That's really going to help us find this question. Okay, so let's go down to the end of the Norway text. Oh, look there. Through two, okay, twice, it's done something. Through two referendums, that's the answer. And those are our time markers there. Okay, okay. Public rejected entry into the European community. Okay, so what? in referendums. Okay, up to final question. <laughs> it's the final question already. Oh, time flies, it really does. Okay, Sweden, ending our tennis match. One, two, three, four, five, six, number six. Sweden had to make changes after the economic problems of the 1970s. In the following decades, okay, so when's that? 1980s and 1990s. 
country has specialised in what in an attempt to adjust to new global demands. So how has it dealt with this problem? Okay, let's go near the end. Okay. Ah, the decades that followed, 1980s, 1990s, adjust to new conditions of global trade. How? By specialising in knowledge-intensive products. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this text. I hope you found this helpful. Please come back soon. I'll have some more readings ready for you. Okay, have a nice day. See you later. Bye-bye.